Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little bit about how farmers figure out how much nitrogen their soil can hold. Well, when you think about nitrogen, it's one of those nutrients that in the nitrate form can actually leach down through soil and could potentially end up in groundwater if it's not properly managed. Right, but if you're a non-farmer, we just don't want you to get too concerned here because there are two forms of nitrogen. The other one besides nitrate is ammonium and ammonium actually binds to soil very well. Just real simply, the reason why it binds so well is because soil has a negative electrical charge. It's actually a great big magnet and it can hold positively charged ammonium ions. Well, of course, nitrate then is a negatively charged nutrient, and that's why the negative doesn't hold to the negatively charged soil and could potentially leach. So farmers can control how their nitrogen is in their soil in a couple of different ways. But first of all, what they'll look at is their soil test to figure out even how much nitrogen they can apply to begin with. So the soil test that the farmer will get to figure this out is called cation exchange capacity, or CEC for short. And just real simply, the farmer will look at his CEC number, let's call it 15 for example, multiply that number times 10, and that'll tell him roughly how many pounds of nitrogen his soil can hold at any one time. So 15 times 10 is 150. So then the farmer makes sure that he doesn't over apply his nitrogen accordingly. Now when we're talking about nitrogen, of course, this is plant food. This is one of the key nutrients that any kind of plant is going to need in order to build proteins and grow. So when we're thinking about plant food, farmers may say, well, wait a minute, I need lots more plant food than just 150 pounds. I need 200 pounds to feed my crop. And that's perfectly fine for farmers to do. What we're saying with this CEC is that if a farmer only had a CEC of 15, he'd only be able to apply 150 pounds at one time. If he actually needs 200 pounds throughout the season, he just needs to save that other 50 pounds or 100 pounds and put on later in the season after the crop has already depleted the soil of much of the nitrogen. The other thing that many farmers are doing now is using products called nitrogen stabilizers. And what these nitrogen stabilizers do is help prevent the conversion of that nitrogen into the nitrate form. Because again, we don't want the nitrogen in the nitrate form. It's much more likely to leach. Well, it's important for farmers to understand their cation exchange capacity levels for their soil so they know how much nitrogen they can safely apply. But cation exchange capacity won't do anything for controlling our weed of the week. We have to use something else. We'll explain later in the show.